Okay, so we're going to build an atomic model for each element. First, let's review the parts of the periodic table. You've got the element's name, its chemical symbol, its atomic number, which is, equals the number of protons it has, its atomic mass, which is a combination of the number of protons plus the number of neutrons, and then what will appear in the first shell and what will appear in the second shell. So the first thing we need is some supplies. We're going to use the larger pony beads for the protons and electrons. And I'm going to use green for my protons. and I'm going to use yellow for my electrons. Now, when I was looking at my piece from the periodic table, it had 10.81 for its atomic mass, and it had 5 for its atomic number. So, since I'm going to round my atomic mass, 10.81 rounds to 11, and I'm going to take away 5, my atomic number from that, which would give me 6 for the number of neutrons, because 11 minus 5 equals 6. And since the number of protons is going to be the same as the number of electrons, so since I have 5 protons, I need to have 5 electrons. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pipe cleaner and I'm going to put all my protons and my neutrons on the pipe cleaner. I can put them all the same colors together, mix them up, it really makes no difference because they're all going to be together in the, in the nucleus anyways. So I'm just going to stick them all on there. And then I'm going to bunch it all up because really they're all kind of packed in tight in the nucleus. So that's how I want to represent it by kind of like smooshing it all together. So I don't really want it like that. It's not squished enough. So I'm going to redo it. I'm going to make it squishy. Okay, so now it's all nice and squishy. And then I'm going to get a different pipe cleaner. And I'm going to put my smaller black beads on it. Now the first shell can only hold two electrons, so I'm only going to put two on the first one. And since they orbit around the nucleus, I'm going to just make it kind of around the nucleus and twist my pipe cleaner so it kind of holds in place. Okay, so this is my first shell, which is also known as an orbital. It's got two electrons. So my second shell is, which can hold up to eight electrons, but since I only need three more, since I've already used two, I'm just going to add my three to it. And that shell should go a little bit further out. It should have a wider radius than my first shell. So I'm going to twist it up. and add it to this one. If I needed a third shell, I would just add another um, pipe cleaner. If my pipe cleaner isn't big enough, then I would just twist two of them together to make a larger one.
And then I made um, a label for it. So especially if you have students who are turning this in, you're going to want them to do the label for it. So they're going to write down the name of the element that they did, which in this case was boron. I'm going to write down how many protons, how many neutrons, how many electrons in the first shell and the second shell. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch a hole in the top and trim it out a bit. After, of course, I write my name on the back. So now I'm going to take my hole punch, punch a hole at the top, and then trim around it to make it look more like a, like a tag. Okay, now that I've finished trimming up my tag, I'm going to put it on my model. And then what I did is I hung them all on my classroom ceiling. My, my students really enjoyed that. Like so. If you want the complete lesson, you can find it at Teachers Pay Teachers.